friends and welcome back. Today I have two very special animals joining me from our classroom. <gasps> yeah, this is Roxy. Say hi to Roxy. There's Roxy. Roxy is a guinea pig. Whoa, Roxy doesn't like when I hold it like that. This is Roxy and Roxy's a guinea pig. Hello friends. Roxy, do you think Roxy is a mammal or not a mammal? Hmm. Roxy is a mammal, yeah. How did you know? What gave it away? What does she have that we can see? Yes, she has hair, just like we have hair. What if I gave her some bangs? Oh, look at you, Roxy. So mammals have hair, just like Roxy. So Roxy is a mammal. What does she have? I can feel something on her back. Oh, I can feel it. What is it? We have it in our backs too. Yes, a vertebrate, a backbone. She has bones. Roxy, oh, can you hear her talking? She's saying hello. So Roxy is a vertebrate. She has bones. She has a skeleton. She has something I can feel that's beating. She has a heart, yes, and she has a brain. She knows how to think and find her food, and she knows how to find shelter when she needs it. Roxy is a mammal. I'm gonna put Roxy in my lap down here so that she's a little more comfortable. And so we would say that Roxy is a mammal. Oops. I have another animal from our classroom that I brought over. Oh my, can you tell what that is? Yes, that's a fish. And this fish is a betta fish. And I'm wondering if our fish is a mammal. Hmm. What do you see? Do you think that our betta fish, her name is Rainbow. Do you think she has fur or hair? She's hard to see. Mm, she does not have any hair and she lives in the water. Can you take her out? No, so she doesn't have lungs. If we took her out, she wouldn't be able to breathe, would she? She breathes with something different. She breathes with gills. So she doesn't have lungs like us. Hmm. She doesn't have any hair and Fish come from eggs. A fish is a fish. So a fish, rainbow, is not a mammal. We are going to put animals into two categories, mammals and not mammals. Are you ready? Here we go. Oop, that was a big hand. All right, so we have our labels, mammals and not mammals. Over here under not mammals, I put rainbow. Under here, or over here next to mammals, we have Roxy. Here she is. Hello, friends. She is a mammal. All right, now we're going to look at some other animals. Do you remember the pig? Like Gary? Is Gary a mammal? Or not a mammal? I should actually put... Oh, Gary is a mammal. You remember when you pet Gary? He has hair. It's not very soft, but he has hair. Let's see. How about this big bald eagle? Does a bald eagle have hair or fur? Well, let's see. I don't think so. But does it breathe with lungs? Yes, it breathes air. But he's covered with feathers, so he is not a mammal. I have not mammals here, but that's bothering me. I think I'm going to take the S away and put an, a sight word A in here. Not a mammal. Okay. Let's see. How about a cat? Is a cat a mammal or not a mammal? Yes, a cat is a mammal. Cat has fur 
The cat has a vertebrae. The cat is warm blooded. She's a mammal. <gasps> How about a duck or a goose? Mammal? Do geese have fur or hair? No, they're covered with feathers, just like the bald eagle. Not a mammal. That duck is not a mammal. How about this farmer? Is the farmer a mammal or not a mammal? Yes, the farmer is a mammal. My goodness, I brought more mammals over than not mammals. Oh, what's that? Well, that flies like the eagle. But the eagle is covered in feathers and the bat is covered in hair. The bat is a mammal. And what about this whale? Well, how does he breathe air? <gasps> he is a mammal. And you see the little, they have a little blowhole up here? In order to breathe, they have to go up to the surface to breathe air and then go down. He can hold his breath much longer than you can or I can or this farmer can, but he still has lungs and breathes air. So he has to go to the surface to breathe. Our fish does not go up to breathe. It just stays in the water and breathes with those gills. All right, so we made a chart. We made mammals and non-mammals. Hmm. Pretty cool. See if you can find pictures or objects toys in your house and sort them between mammals and non-mammals. Hmm. I wonder what you will find. Let us know. Maybe draw a picture. All right. We will see you in our next video and the next one. Please make sure you bring your mammals word web. Thank you.